Okay, number 11. They want you to link the style sheet to the web page, make a paragraph, text, a different color, and size. All right. So we go in here, type in that mess link. Space R E L style sheet. And you see how it's giving me the uh, some options. So I can just click on it instead of typing the whole thing. And then I can just click on style and then close it off. Another way to do this would have been just to go back and one of the old lessons, right? and copy this and paste it in but whatever all right now we have our link to our style sheet here's our style sheet and now let's add some style so P for paragraph P for paragraph let's get that curly bracket and hit enter paragraph first thing they want is the size so font size and we'll say it's 20 and then don't forget you have to put that semicolon or your toast hit enter and then color I think that's just color yeah color And we'll color it blue. And we'll close off the uh, paragraph with the curly Q. Boom. And there it is. Touchdown. All right. Animal form extra code font family. Okay, this one they want you to change the font family rule for the H1 or H3 tags. So let's check the CSS. Okay. Oh, and in paragraph they want you to change the font. Okay, so let's go. What are the font family options? Mono space. There we go. And they want you to add the font family into the H1. So look, I'm just going to copy this. Control C. Come to the end of this. Font family 24 PX. Hit enter. Paste that in there. Control V. And there we go. We have our changes. And we're done. Okay, find the H4 tag that's double underlined. Here's the H4. Underline double and change it to something else. So let's just go underline, see what happens. There it is. Add a text decoration for the rule for paragraph H1, H2, or H3. All right, I'll just use this again. Text decoration. Control X. Hit enter. Paste that in there. And there's my underline. Boba tea is delicious, by the way. Alignment. <clears throat> The text align property sets the horizontal side to side position. Okay, find the CSS code and from Wikipedia in H6. That's here. Change the H6 to align right. Oh wait, find it. 
it's already aligned right. Oh, you know why I think I did this, but no. Yeah, it's already done. Okay. Change the H1 tag so it's a line center. H1. So look, all I have to do is I can either hit enter here and type this all out. Or I can just copy it here. Control C. Control V. And then change my alignment from right to center. And there it is. All right. Oh, change the alignment of the paragraph too. All right, all I have to do is that is copy, control C. All right, so I'm just copying this code and adding it to the paragraph. Hit enter. Remember, paragraph is the P. Control V that stuff. And there it is. Letter spacing property. Find the CSS code that making the letter orchids. Spaced out more than normal. Okay, see so you can see it right here. Letter spacing five pixels. So it's spacing out each letter. Change the H2 tag so it's spaced out by two pixels. Okay, so here's your H2. We can either type this all out right here on the H2 letter spacing blah 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 or we can just copy it control C control V and then change that to two pixels and then our basic guide will be a little bit closer and there it is so remember you don't have to remember all this stuff necessarily just remember how to get back to the uh information to to do it text shadow okay text shadow property sets its ha shadow oh yeah you can see right here stradivarius find the code here's the text shadow give the h2 tag the shadow space two pixels to the right up Okay, H2 is here. Let me go ahead and grab this. Right, this is the text shadow. And again, if you want to type it all out, you're more than welcome to. I would prefer just to cut and paste. What I just did there is I changed it from minus two, right? Because it was going backwards. So minus would be going left, plus would be going right. So I just moved it so that the black one is going right. Give a text shadow to other tags as well. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this. And I can just give it to all of them if I wanted to. Right. That's that's ugly. Change that to blue. That's better. Cool. Free play. Oh, how fun. All right. They want us to make... A new web page with a bunch of styles. So let's go ahead and do that. First off, we got to put in the link to the style sheet. And if you want to, you can type it all out. That's that link. 
space R E L style sheet href and then style. Okay, that's one way you can do it, or you could just go back to another lesson, copy that, and then just paste it in here, right? Either way is fine. I'm good either way. All right, let's make a paragraph. Or no, let's make a heading first. H1. Open. This class is great. Closing H1. Oh, I did something wrong here. Look at that pink. You see what I did wrong? I forgot to close it off. Fatal mistake. There we go. Remember, you got to close it off. Open, close. Okay, this class is great. I'll do my paragraph. Paragraph. I love, love, live. Or I live to code. That's fine too. I live to code. Close it off. All right. So now let's add some style. All right, what do we do? Let's change our H1 first. H1, and get that curly. And then we'll change the color. Color, oh. Well, let's change it to brown. And then make sure we have that semicolon. And then if you want to change the size, font size, 24 pixels, PX, and then add that semicolon. And we'll change the font family as well. Font family. Let's go fantasy. How nice. All right, semicolon, and then let's just close it off. Okay, now we'll change our paragraph. P, actually, you know what? Let's make it easier. I'm just gonna copy all this, control C, and I'm gonna paste it here, and then just change this H1 to P, right? Now I'll change this to red make the font smaller 14 oh not 214 14 and then change that font to inherit oh. sans serif there we go i like it and we are done. Yeah, that's all of them.